A campaign is underway to save thousands of reels of old film considered an invaluable record of Australian history this century. Operation Newsreel, launched today in Canberra, will restore six decades of newsreels at a cost of more than $4 million. Television is how many people these days switch on to the news. Four decades ago, they relied on radio and newspapers, and each Thursday they rushed to the picture theatre to see the latest film coverage of recent events. Sixty years ago, the first weekly newsreels hit the screen. First movie tone, and soon after, cine sound. This was the the biggest audience that any news story could reach. And a, a movie tone newsreel would reach two million people in Australia. And when you go away on a job at that stage, you, you'd get to a, a town and they'd be running a newsreel that you shot nine months ago. The newsreels were there when Captain De Groot thumbed his nose at officialdom at the opening of Sydney Harbour Bridge. And at today's launch of Operation Newsreel at the National Film and Sound Archive, Deputy Prime Minister Lionel Bowen was also upstaged. Operation Newsreel's major priority is to save newsreels shot on deteriorating nitrate stock. All the old newsreels were bought by News Limited and Greater Union after they went off the cinema screens in 1975, and the companies are sponsoring the restoration.